Hey guys, it's me, Mind's Arts, and I'm back with a update video. Um, so this snapshot is called 20W46A. It's a new one that came out recently. Um, like the live stream, I'm going to go over things, and I missed some things during that live stream that I didn't notice, but I'm going to fix that in this video. Plus, I added some new cool features, and I want to check those out too. So. Going over some old features. Um, we start with the copper stairs, which have a two or have two different variants. This is the, these are the uh, waxed copper variants, and these are the non-waxed cut variants. Both cut or they're both cut variants, but this one has a weathered, like fully weathered, and this one doesn't. Now there are the slabs, which are the are also cut. And this one also doesn't have a weathered because it's waxed. We have copper ore, which is a new ore that we haven't had in a new ore in like six, seven, eight years since uh, emerald was introduced first. So that's pretty, pretty cool that they're adding new things. I don't know if netherite would be classified as an ore. It could be, but I'll have to leave that up to you to decide because I'm not sure myself. Um, anyway, so we have the new copper blocks copper blocks themselves, um, which wither, weather, <laughs> slowly weather, um, and we have the cut variants, and the wax variants, and there are wax cut variants too. Slowly over time, like very, very slowly, they will slowly begin to turn this blue color. It's a very cool mechanic that they decided to add, and I just love it. Next we have the tainted black, tinted Tinted, <laughs> tinted glass. Um, this glass will literally stop any kind of light trying to get into it. There, it's it's pitch black in there compared to outside. No light from the outside can affect it on the inside. It's basically as dark as a cave with no torches. So this could be very useful for uh, mob farms. It could be useful for um, like mushroom farms, maybe. I don't know. 
Possibly. Next, we have the Amethyst block, which is brand new. We have the Budding Amethyst, and we have the Amethyst. Um, these will spawn in geodes around your world, and some, like the Budding ones, will spawn, or create these crystals on top of them that you can mine with a pickaxe and get shards with. Now, these geodes are going to be sur surrounded by the cal calcite and the tuff, so they would be pretty easy to spot in a massive cave, or um, maybe if you go strip mining, you'll end up running into one of them, and you'll see this. So it's a very good indication of you've run into something very, very beautifully sounding and mesmerizing. Anyway, we have the lightning, <laughs> lightning rod. This will actually produce redstone current when struck, and it will attract lightning. This produces 15 blocks worth of redstone, or 15 redstone power, I'm going to call it that. Most importantly, you can lure a creeper on here and trap them on there, right? And get them. Strike the lightning. There you go, you got a creeper. Charge creeper. What you do with it? That's completely up to you. If, whether you want heads or whether you just want to destroy people. There are four stages to this, which I completely forgot to mention. The small to largest. Smallest to largest. And they all make the same sound, which is really nice. I don't know why that's so entertaining and mesmerizing just to listen to. Um, so yeah, now we have the bundle. Now this is like a mini like sack kind of backpack thing. It's like a shulker, but it's very limited. So if I just give myself a bunch of random items, right? And I can't place this on the ground. I can't do anything with it like on the ground. I have to go in my inventory and manually place them in there. Once they're in there, you can see them in there. And you can probably place individual, like, a whole bunch of individual items until you get, like, a full stack of or, or 64 items in there. And if you um, right-click, it'll give you all of your items back. You cannot go into the bundle individually and individually take everything out. You have to, like, right-click and then it'll give it to you. It's, a very, it's still very useful, though. The new ingot, which comes from the copper ore, being the copper ingot, which you can craft all of those blocks with. And that. And the spyglass and all of those. But we'll get to the crafting recipes in a second. The um, shards. Or the... These will grow... The crystals will grow shards. Which you can use to craft the spyglass. And the tainted... Tinted... Tinted... Glass. Let's go over to the crafting recipes. First up is the lightning rod, which is crafted by three copper ingots straight down. It could be in the center. It could be on the left side. It could be on the right side. And there you go. Next is the cut copper block, which can be crafted by four um, full copper blocks to craft this and this also can be placed with like anywhere in the crafting bench which is only four places you can really put it since it's like this but there you go now you got a couple of the blocks here is the right like cup the regular co copper regular copper block which you can craft the same exact way as the cut but with copper ingots creating the copper block in order to craft the wax copper, you have to have a honeycomb and a copper block. Now, it, it can be placed anywhere. Like, the, this is wherever you want. You can place it anywhere you want to create the waxed copper block. Wax copper seems interesting, and it won't um, weather as fast. So that is very useful for builds if you would like to keep this color for a lot longer. And now we have the spyglass. The spyglass can be crafted by with two iron ingots and an amethyst shard. Now they updated the spyglass since last time I checked this out, and it has more of a square shaped shape to it. But it looks really cool. 
And I like that they changed it anyway. Because the circular shape doesn't seem really Minecrafty anyway. So, yeah, I, I really like it personally, though. Um, next up is the candle. My freaking favorite out of this. I like most of these. Now, the, the candle has to be crafted like this. Or like this. It has to be... It would make sense, though. But it has to be crafted like this. And the candles we'll get to later, but you can light them with a flint and steel, and they look really interesting. Um, then the bundle, which is crafted with all of this freaking uh, rabbit hide and two string. You have to have it in this order. It will not work any other way. Not even upside down. Unfortunately. That'd be entertaining, though. Gives you an upside down... Um, bundle <laughs> that'd be fairly weird though then you have just the normal uh smelting process for copper ore to get the copper ingot which can be done in either one of these common sense but i might as well add that to craft this beautiful sounding block the block of amethyst you need four crystals to do this. To, to, yeah, wow, can't speak. To do so, placed in any place in the crafting table. Obviously, it won't work like that. Oh my god, I love that. And then we have the tinted glass, which is crafted by four amethyst shard and a single piece of glass in the center. And you get two of these. So it's not just one. You get a pretty good deal out of it. Better than just getting a single tinted glass from it. And luckily, when you break it with your fist, you get it back. Instead of it just shattering like glass does. So that's pretty cool. Um, if we go over here to the candles, as I said... You can light them with a flint and steel. Now there are 16 different types of colors to match every single type of dye. And all you have to do is just add a, um, a dye around the candle. Right? So, I gave myself... Uh, so I'm gonna go with cyan dye. A single cyan dye next to a, a regular candle can create the dye, or the candle. Oops. Speaking of that, you can use a shovel or you can use your fist to blow the candle out. Yeah, pretty cool. Now if I give myself a cake, and this is a really cool feature, it's just like, Okay, have you ever just wanted to have a birthday in Minecraft? Go ahead. Put a candle on that cake, and then light it, and there you go. You can sing happy birthday to your friends and <laughs> just have fun, because why not? Next item. The snowier snow. Powder snow. Snowier snow, powdered snow, yeah, whatever. So, you sink into this, and in the intro, oh yeah. This is what happens. Like I said, uh, I showed in the intro me basically just dying to it. And that's because it slowly freezes you with this new uh, screen. It turns your hearts blue. And I, like, the tech, like, this is really, like, Christmas to me. That's what it feels like. Um, now, you can't do much in it. Like, you can, you can move around, but you can't jump that high. So it's kind of like stepping inside of a um, honey block, if you could, but you can't. But if you climb on it with boots on, it turns into scaffolding, basically. And you could use it, like, as stairs, if you were, are careful about it. But, yeah, and you can go up. If you, The second you take them off, though, you start sinking. And it's not fun. Now, inside of the block... It looks extremely foggy. It's really, really cool how they just how they did this. And I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here. 
you get slowness and your screen slowly zooms in, but as you warm up, your uh, screen will fix itself. It comes in a bucket, and now you can place it in a cauldron. Now you can place it in a cauldron. I can't go in it. You place this in a cauldron and um, anywhere around your world, and it doesn't spread around like any liquid, but it will act like a very thick liquid when you're stepping in it. I gotta move this before I lose my mind. Oh my god, I can't see. All right. Next up. Just something fun I found. You can put lava in a cauldron now. And you burn in it too. Luckily, the uh, powder snow will put you out. So... Is it melting? You can use cauldron to collect snow now, and that's how you get the powder snow. And apparently if you leave it out in the sun, and you can't collect it now, if you leave it out in the sun it starts melting slowly. So we'll come back to that in a bit. Oops. Anyway, lava. It'll burn you on top of it! No, oh, okay. It'll burn you if you stand on, on it. Or go in it for too long. Actually, no, instantly. Never mind. Thank god this puts you out, but it's gonna burn me. Or freeze me. And last, uh, but certainly not least. As you can see, minecarts work underwater now. And this is very, very cool. Because... Now you can have full-fledged roller coasters underwater, or you could have transportation underwater now, but it's kind of slow. And it makes sense because you're moving against the water current and they made it somehow actually physics-like. But if you don't have rails down like everywhere, like the powered rails, you will come to a stop if you don't have a connection, a constant connection, and like this is very interesting, but yeah, so this is all that's been added, we're just gonna go through the sounds after, or very quickly, and then, yeah, so, one, two, three, And that's it. They haven't added the goats or the warden yet, or the axolotl, which I'm very I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to the axolotl and the warden, um, and the goats. When I have something punch you off the side of a cliff, <laughs> which that functionality is going to be pretty interesting to watch. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of the update. Uh, when the next update comes out. I don't know, but I'll do a video on it when I find out that it comes out. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Or Suki's. Or both. Or Riley's. Or all three of us. It's up to you. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.